Today I want to show you how to configure large fleets of standalone Windows instances uh, to get their updates from Windows Server Update Services on AWS. When you have a large number of Windows Server instances, usually you would rely on Active Directory group policies to enforce uh, your policies on all of your Windows instances. However, Especially in the cloud, there are many use cases that you need to rely on standalone Windows Server instances. Uh, you can't just assume all instances are joined to your Active Directory domain. So the problem is how to still enforce your policies to standalone instances without using Active Directory. The answer to that question is using Systems Manager State Manager. It's a feature in AWS Systems Manager that allows you uh, to enforce policies and manage drift on your target instances uh, at scale. And it works in AWS Cloud as well as on-premises and even on other clouds. Now let's take a quick look how it looks like in practice. All right, I'm in AWS console. Uh, in my EC2 console, I can see uh, there are three standalone Windows instances. I also have this Windows Server Update Service instance. I want to make sure these Windows stand, uh, standalone Windows Server instances get their updates from my WSUS endpoint instead of getting them from public Microsoft Update endpoints. Now, to get started, let's just log into one of these instances and see if uh, they're configured to get their updates from a WSUS instance. So let me connect to this instance first. Since it's a standalone instance, I need to get my administrator password uh, through console. I can't use domain credentials to log in. All right, I have my password and this. I'm going to connect to my private IP address 10.0.0.68. Okay, now I'm connected to my EC2 instance. Uh, you could directly get uh, check the uh, Windows Update settings from registry, but to make it easier, I'm going to use this script, get client I've used to settings. I've downloaded this uh, script already and right here, I'll copy this. paste it in my target instance desktop. Now I have to open PowerShell. So this script contains a, a function, so I have to dot source it. All right, now I can do get client WSUS setting. And as you can see, it's not configured. The update service endpoint is not configured. So it's getting all of its Windows updates from public endpoints uh, that are published by Microsoft. I want to make change this configuration for all of my server instances to get their updates from my WSUS instance. So if I go back to my uh, EC2 console, this is my, EC, uh, my WSUS instance. And this is the private IP address. I want to make sure all of my Windows Server instances get their updates from this endpoint.
I'll open Systems Manager, do another tab, and we're going to use State Manager. All right, create association. We're looking for AWS run remote script. Run remote script. All right, source type. You can choose whether your script should be obtained from GitHub or S3. I'm going to use S3, but before proceeding further, I have to make sure my script is available in my S3 bucket. So this time I want to set WSU setting. So I'll use uh, this script, set client WSU setting. I've already downloaded that script and put it here. So let me open that. As you can see, this is also defining a function, but uh, using uh, AWS Run Remote Script, I won't be able to use a function, so I'll just remove this first line and convert it to a normal script. Okay, I'll save this and Now I can go to S3 console. And I'll go to one of my buckets and upload my script to this bucket. So the script is uploaded, set client WSU setting, and I want the URL. Let's go back to systems manager, source type. Yes. and command line. Now I'm going to use this command line. Let's just make sure it's pointing to the correct endpoint. So this is the endpoint, update server, 10.04.146 and 10.04.146 that's my WSU instance and I'm using 85.30 as the HTTP port you could also use HTTPS with 85.31 that's usually the port used all right that's it now I need to use uh, I need to select my target instances so I'm going to do that using tags. So going back to my standalone instances, I've applied a tag called update endpoint to all of these. So all of them have this update endpoint tag with the value of WSUX. So I'm going to use that. Any instance with tag key update endpoint and value of WSUX should be targeted for this state. And now the schedule. I'm going to use uh, the Chrome scheduler with uh, every 30 minutes frequency. And that's all I need, create association. Here's my association. If I open it, it says success, it's already executed and it will execute again every 30 minutes to make sure there's no drift in our configuration. And if I run this one more time, 
this time you can see configuration has changed. So that's how easy it is to uh, manage configuration for on standalone Windows instances without using Active Directory. Thanks for watching.